Hello my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to have some fun with some patriotic home decor and this is going to be so cool. So sit back with a beverage or grab some of your crafts and let's go. So this is a cutting board that I got at Goodwill for a couple dollars and I picked it up because I want to use it as a template. And I've used it several times and I've even done some videos with it. So I cut out this uh, chicken from the template of the cutting board and I grabbed a piece of scrap wood and I'm going to use that as the stand for my chicken to stand on. So I'm just using a bigger drill bit to make it so my screw can fit down inside so it won't stick out. And I put a little wood glue on there and I'm going to screw that bottom on. And I'm going to make it so the chicken is in the back of that board so I have a little bit of room in the front to add my pit berries that I'm going to add. Now this is the my special stain that I mix up with antique wax, water, and a little bit of black uh, paint. And I mix it all up and I'm using this as my stain for my chicken. I'm going to do this all over and wipe it all back to get a nice color. Now I went through my my just stash of pit berries and tried to find some patriotic colors, some red, whites, and blues. And I found this. This was actually a uh, candle ring and I just cut it so that it would open up flat and I'm just stapling it to the bottom of the board stand for my chicken. And then I just start building with my pit berries that I have and uh, putting in my red color and then I'm going to hot glue these in because it's a little bit easier than trying to get the staple gun in there to staple everything on. So I just go through and add all these and then I fluff it up and check it again to make sure I've got enough on there uh, in spots where I want it. And there we go. There. So there's those. And then it's just fluffing and, and preening the pit berries to make them the way I want. So now I'm taking some Spanish moss and I'm going down around the bottom. I'm just going to hot glue it to cover up the wire from the pit berries and make it look a little cleaner. Once that's all glued down, I just give it a little haircut and kind of get some of those flyaways off there. I don't mind it going every which way, but I don't want it too, too much. Now this is a, should have done this before I put the berries on, but I did not do that. I kind of forgot this step. So I'm going back and just bending my berries that I just got right where I want them. And I'm giving it a sand around the edges and also across the top of the chicken to lighten it up a little bit. So I had this wooden star in my stash with the flag on the front of it. It had a rusty wire on it and it broke off, but the little squigglies that hold it on through the hole are still there. And I'm going to leave them because I really like it. It's kind of rusty and I like it. So I'm just going to glue them in and glue this the back of this with hot glue and stick it onto my chicken. And to add some more rusty element to my rustic chicken, I'm going to add this rusty looking uh, star that I had in my stash as well. Now as I got looking at the pit berries on here, I just thought they were a little too stark white. I wanted them a little more rustic and darker looking. So I took the rag that I had wa uh, wiped the chicken down with after I had put the stain on and I just took what was left and wiped it onto the white pit berries. I think some of the red got it too, and that's fine. I don't care. I just wanted it a little more rustic and just a little more grungy looking. So now I'm going to make a messy bow for my chicken. So I'm taking some of this um, netting ribbon that you get at, uh, where did I get at? Dollar Tree, I think. And then, I don't know, I just got little pieces of ribbon here and there and whatever I could find that I thought would look nice. So I thought that this would look nice. Don't mind the fingers. I had several things going on at once and I was didn't have time to wash my hands in between. 
So I just put it all together and fluffed it out and I think that looks super cute on there. And just working it around. And then I decided that I would go back and dovetail some of the ends just to give it a little more zhuzh, I guess, and um, just make it look nice. So I found this dark red or burgundy button. It's a fairly good sized one. And I took a little bit of that stain and wiped it on there to give it a grungy look. I also added a touch of Spanish moss around the bow to make it pop. I got this super cute star and basket from a flea market for, I think it was $5. I think that's what the tag said. And I really love it. And I love the shape of the star. So I'm going to cut the tag off and I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot with this. I am going to dovetail the ends of the, the homespun material. And I think that adds a little bit to it. It's not a big change, but I think it looks really good. And then I'm going to uh, add some greenery inside the basket. I think that's going to look really cool against the blue. And this is a good patriotic little door hanger um, that I really like. So the star, I really love the shape so much that I'm going to do a template of it so that I can cut some out myself with some scrap wood that I have and make some shapes of those stars myself. I made a cute little tag with this car stock, card stock tag. I took a little dry brush of white and put it over the top and some of the rub-on transfers. I think I got this at Dollar Tree and I chose the Celebrate and I'm going to put that on to my tag and then in another bunch of letters I have these little flowers that kind of look like fireworks so I put that on the tag as well and hung it on the basket. Now I have a few bunches of these red, white, and blue uh, star pattern uh, paper flowers or tissue flowers. So I took off one of each and added that to the basket along with a little bit of greenery in the front and this one is done. these mustard colored candle holders from spindles. I cut the stars out and used those as a base and I'm done with them now so I'm going to take this uh, big bead and put it in the hole where the candle would go and I'm going to paint this whole thing the crimson red which is a very it's almost like a pinkish red it's very pink on the pink side but it's not going to really matter when I'm done with it so I just wanted the red color for a patriotic theme. So I'm giving that a good paint job all over. So now I'm taking a little bit of black folk art paint and dry brushing it onto my spindle. And I'm just going, I'm going over the whole thing but hitting mostly the high spots and just getting some of that black on there. I didn't want to uh, distress it with sandpaper and have that mustard color come back through. So once that dried, I went back over it with a little bit of my stain mixture and it just grubbied it up some more. I'm distressing and making it look uh, as aged as possible. I got these little hangers from another piece that I had and I wasn't using it so I took it off and I'm going to put it on here and this is going to make it so I can make a wreath and hang it on it. So this will be a wreath hanger. Just drilling some tiny little holes uh, so that I can find out or make sure that I get the screws in the right place and I don't want to crack the wood. So here I've got, I don't know, four bunches of these uh, patriotic flag flowers 
and I did one of them with this grubby look. I used my my wax mixture and I dry brushed onto it to make it look grungy and old. That brown circle that I have is just a piece from uh, pit berries that I had that I used up and I usually don't throw them away because they're nice strong wire. So I just made it into a circle the size that I wanted and I'm going to affix these flowers once I get them done onto that ring. So I'm just dry brushing the petals, not every single petal and uh, not super heavy. I just keep going over and over. Some are more heavier than others, which is fine. And uh, you can still see some of the white and the red. So, and that's what I want. I just want it to look grungy and old. So after I got them all done, now I'm going to glue them on the uh, circle. And after I get a few on there, I flip it over and give it, reinforce it with a little bit more hot glue, just so they'll stay on. It's kind of a small area for it to stick to. But once it's, it's dry, uh, it sticks very well. So I just did one side with the blue, and then the rest of it is the red and the white stripes. And I think this came out so cute. So we're going to make some fireworks today and we're going to use this aluminum foil roll and this uh, scarf that I got at Dollar Tree. It's all, it says America and Home of the Brave and all kinds of stuff. It's got fireworks on it, Liberty, USA, uh, lots of good stuff on there and very patriotic. So I'm going to cut these down or this tube down. Um, I was going to do it exact and then I decided I wanted two smaller ones and maybe one bigger one um, because I'm going to be putting them in a bouquet and I want it to um, stick out at different heights. So I just use my box cutter and I'm cutting them down whatever I figured out and there we go there's three pieces. So first I'm going to wrap it around and figure out the length and how much around I need. I like to have a little bit on either end sticking out so I can fold it over the top so that you can't see the top or the bottom. So once I get it figured out how long I want it and make sure that it will wrap around, uh, this one says America the Beautiful on it and I'm going to try and make it so you can see that. I take some of my styrofoam uh, floral foam and just push the circle down onto it or the tube so that I can fill it up with the floral foam. I don't have a lot left so I'm just using these little pieces and it's coming apart but it'll work. I just need it to uh, hold my skewer in there and um, the little uh, wick that I'm going to put in. So this is the bigger one so all three of them I did the same. I took Mod Podge and painted it on to the tube and then I took my cloth or my scarf piece and then rubbed it so that it was on there nice. Went all the way around so that it touched the other side and trimmed off what I didn't need and made sure that it was stuck very well. Now I did put the skewer in as well before I uh, painted it so that I could, or not painted it, but put the Mod Podge on so that I could hold the stick while I did that so I didn't get all messy. So I glued that in and then now I'm wrapping the material down around the bottom so it covers up anything on the bottom. Putting a little hole in the styrofoam in the top and then I'm going to cut my little, my little wick or my fuse for my firecracker. I'm going to stick it right in there and glue around and just fold over that material again. And I did all three of them exactly the same way. 
So I sealed the whole outside of it with Mod Podge, gave it a good coat all the way around the top and the bottom as well. So this video is part of the God Bless the USA collaboration put on by Six Kids and a Glue Gun, Crafty Hints, and Rustic and Lace DIY. This was so much fun going out of the box a little bit and thinking up some different things that are patriotic uh, in my realm and I really enjoyed it a lot. So go check them out and the playlist in the description below. So once my fireworks were dry, I took a little bit of Spanish moss and put it around the top just to add a little something. I thought it looked really cool and kind of covered up that folded piece inside and I think it was a nice touch. I added it to all three and then I'm going to set it aside for a bouquet that they're going to go in and that will be next. I got this basket out of my stash. I'm not even sure where I got it from. Probably Goodwill. Uh, and I just took this piece of wallpaper and cut out the flag that says Old Glory and wet the back of it to activate the paste. And now I'm going to make my bouquet. <music> Hope you like my patriotic home decor leave a comment down below and let me know if you have a favorite don't forget to go down and check out the host and co-host to this collaboration and the playlist there's lots of talented creators on there so thanks for watching don't forget to check out my Etsy shop a lot of these will be on there for sale there'll be a link down in the description for that as well have a great day